Empath Psychic Tracy Moon here delivering your winter solstice tarot card reading for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That's the 21st to the 23rd of December 2018. Um, I wanted to read a little bit. So Pisces. Uh, Mars is sextile Pluto, which brings strength and willpower and actions to tap into that power with ease naturally. We also have Neptune trine uh Venus, which brings grace and charm and hopefulness. Your faith will increase and um, that faith is in yourself. In the career sector, uh, Mercury is joining Jupiter. This will expand your career opportunity to deliver a message in an effective way. Um, and there's also an aspect to the sun, which has a level of risk. So don't doubt yourself. When you feel that it's the right move to make, go ahead and make it. And then we have the Cancer Full Moon on Saturday. Um, that'll light up your self-expression and your creative work, your talent, and expression with children. And so whatever you want to develop, just step away from your rules and uh, do what feels good. So I wanted to show you what I've been working on. And my daughter, too. She's an artist. So we have these magic wands that we made and we put sparkles on them. Um, this is what we've been up to. Actually, I made that one and my daughter made this one. She's nine. But I wanted to have some sort of self-expression and since this is a Pisces video, this is what we've been doing. I actually made another one. And this was for uh, Spica. And you know, uh, Venus conjunct Spica here, and we've got, you know, love and Mercury. So this is my own personal one. I just wanted to show you it was in celebration of the sun and the harvest. Uh, Spica also represents uh, the Empress card. So I think um, I got in the creative mood yesterday and was just um, really expressing myself, and I think that's what this moon is about. So on to the tarot. We have the hanged man. This is following your gut instinct, your creative side, tapping in. Really, you know, uh, we're reaching the full moon. So the intention that you set with this new moon in Sagittarius will be coming out. That was fire. And now we're moving in to water. So, you know, following that gut instinct and really um, tapping into yourself, uh, your creative expression is going to be vital. You know, crossing our path is maybe overworking because the sun is moving into Capricorn, which just makes us want to make everything perfect. The house, the clothes, the, you know, uh, the way that things look. And sometimes we overwork. So this is saying, you know, step back, follow your intuition. You know, the family is important right now. And they will remember hanging out with you. So it's not, they're not going to remember probably the exact details of what color you put on the tree or, what, you know, that last minute um, decoration that you've put out. So go ahead and spend time with the family and don't overwork, don't overthink things. Um, also, with the Princess of Cups, we have, you know, embracing that creativity, going, following your instincts again, being psychic and um, looking at the world through a child's eyes. And really in the water back here, you can see that there's the full moon and it's lighting up things. And, um, you know, this is bringing a new energy and a very nurturing, loving energy that, um, is also for ourself. We don't just have to, Pisces, take care of other people and be, you know, the martyr and, you know, self-sacrifice. We can also love ourselves and, you know, take a break and take that bath the, uh, just to wind down and relax. Um, uh, there was something I wanted to read in here. Okay, so with the Hanged Man, that represents Neptune. That's what I wanted to read this Neptune. So here we are, Neptune trying Venus, and this is going to bring in charm. It's going to bring in love, um, in expected ways to, you know, follow your strength. Um, 
we have the fool this is a beautiful card because this is a new beginning all right so whatever you set the intention with the new moon is is uh, already planted for this um, nurturing uh, full moon to take effect so that's on saturday the 22nd you'll feel the energies of the moon a couple of days before and after so that's why i thought we would do this video for all three days friday saturday and sunday this says that you can take that new step. So we've got the new moon here moving into uh, Capricorn. And that's structuring things out. Really structure out your business plan and follow through. Because now you've done the work. You set the intention. You had that little fire and the push and the drive. And now it's about going ahead and following through. Taking the risk, um, you've, uh, despite what other people think you know, and doing what's right for you. And you already know because you have the instinctual card, you know, following your gut instincts. So it's a really great time to go ahead and move forward, plow forward with the ideas, write it all out because Capricorn is going to help you um, get the work done as where Cancer is going to nurture you and love you. And when no one else loves you, you love you. All right, so despite what other people think is right for you you know what's right for you and so these are just little battles it doesn't matter what other people think or feel okay it's like if you're doing the right thing you'll call in your soul family and your your uh, divine purpose will be um <clears throat> called and if you have the passion then you'll win, you know, because it doesn't matter what these other people do. Like I go and I put my posters in the grocery store about my intuitive counseling services and um, every time they're disappearing and it's like, okay, somebody opposes what I'm doing, but it's okay because they are not there yet. Once they get to the enlightenment part, or maybe they never do, but so, you know, people will oppose you no matter what. But the thing is, go ahead and take the risk. Go ahead and tell people what you're out here doing. You know, like for me, it was starting this YouTube channel, my website, and offering my services to people who are in need. And I believe I'm doing what I'm called to do. So follow your dreams. Whatever your dream is and whatever your divine purpose is at this time, um, dream it. Go ahead and live in the frontal part of your mind instead of the back with the instincts and just the regular routine. Don't get comfortable, you know. Things will be uncomfortable, but bring it to the light. You know, maybe set the intention with this new moon that, you know, whatever you're doing, you go ahead and tie up that new moon um, intention that you set and go ahead and get ready because it's coming to fruition and live in your dreams. It's okay, Pisces. I live in my dreams all the time. And sometimes, you know, I'm, I need a little grounding, but that's what this, um, this, uh, Capricorn sun is going to help you with is, uh, getting from point A to B to C. And over the next days, you'll really start to see and feel that. And maybe it's good to, um, you know, burn the Yule log and really burn the fire, you know, get that fire started. Um, in the future, we have the Prince of Pentacles. So, you know, you will reap the benefits of all the work that you put in. Like the little squirrel, you know, it's like you have to put in the work. And if you didn't put in the work, you're not going to reap the benefit, you know. So it's always good to store up those things get get things um made in advance like yesterday i had a migraine and i wanted to post this video but after recording it i was like mm, i don't look happy my head hurts and i may have messed up some of the information so i just start again um but this is saying like store up um your treasures you know you've got treasures and you did the work and you're going to um you see the benefits of the, all that hard work um, in your mind. What you're thinking about is releasing the things that don't work, you know, letting it go, walk away. What didn't work doesn't serve a purpose and trying to convince people that you're right or um, it's not going to work. They're not going to see it the same way that you do. Like, you know, that you had passion um, 
but if people are going to come against you, it's better just to walk away and, and live to fight another day. You know, it's okay to take a loss here and there. But the thing is, is that you don't want to let all of the past things uh, drain you, weigh you down. It's okay to let go and, and move on. And I think that's what this is with this new moon is go ahead and take care of yourself and love yourself and accept yourself right where you're at. You're doing the work and you have the passion and it really doesn't matter what other people think. There's a time and a place for everything. So um, whatever's come in, this is a teaching lesson. You know, this is a way to find that um, the pain from inside and let it go. So swords are all about the mind. It's a masculine thing. And the heart is a feminine aspect. So when you can gain the heart and drop down from the mind into the heart with this cancer full moon the energy is already out there i was awake uh, in the night looking at the moon and it was just so powerful i charged the crystals and um <clears throat> and nurturing when you find the place to nurture yourself right where you're at then it doesn't matter what what is thought you bring your thoughts and your heart together and it'll create this happiness and that's what is in the final outcome is your happiness. So the accumulation of all of this powerful energy that's happening for this winter solstice, it's really lighting a fire and keeping you warm inside, setting these intentions of um, following through uh, with nurturing yourself with good food and exercise and the family that you do love. Um, there's always that favorite aunt out there and there's maybe your favorite kid can you say that like do you have a favorite I always tell all my kids that they're my favorite so all of them think that they're my favorite and really they are so you know just loving them and nurturing them and you know I know the holidays are hard but I just decided to think about it like this um when I think Christmas I think Ooh, red green Santa uh too many presents consumerism and all this but when I turned it into a natural thing and the way our ancestors were celebrating, it was like, wow, really celebrating the minutes that we have with the sun right now, going out and enjoying the little bit of rays that are left, um, being happy and just, I can't wait for the break. Like there's two more days and then we have a break and the kids can stay home. And I, that's real exciting for me to play games and make art and spending time together um, you know, these things I think is what we should concentrate on and just loving each other, um, enjoying the moment because this too will pass. So, you know, making the dreams a reality, like it doesn't just happen, Pisces, we get to dream it into being, you know, what do we want to create our world to be? And that is a lovely place to be, um, living in our dreams and creating the happy because happiness is a choice, love is a choice, joy is a choice, and allowing those choices to be made. So um, my motto, as I've said before, is have love and passion in your life to do things that bring you happiness. So do what you love, and then love will come. It'll just be a natural thing for us. And over the next days, with our career, our opportunities, um, it'll light up, it'll be our self-expression, you know, go ahead and make your art, you know, make it be personal for you, celebrate the sun, celebrate the time that's coming, and all of the love that will be happening, and I believe that it'll come into being, and when you can make a visual representation of what it is that you want, how you want to communicate this love, then people will feel it, and you will feel it, and you'll reap a harvest. So that is from my heart to you. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll put the link to my website down below. Go have a look. Um, leave your comments below. I'd like to know how you feel about your dreams. And um, I'm, I'm here and I answer all of my uh, inquiries. So thank you for tuning in. That was for the winter solstice, December 2018. Namaste.